Good morning or hey, good evening. Hey everyone. So my name is Shippy Williams. I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. And I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. And one way I do that is with these free workouts. So you guys know what time it is. It is time to get excited about today's workout yep yep but today we are just going to be doing a stretching workout so we're going to do about uh i don't know 25 30 minute stretching workout we're going to start standing go from head to toe we will be sitting on the floor so hope you guys are ready to stretch those muscles out because um it really is very beneficial to your workout let's go ahead and jump in and get started all right so just standing up, we're going to start by stretching. So let's just, first of all, circle the head. And we're going to start from head and move on down the body. Circling. Go the other way. And I feel this stretch already. Just do what your neck will allow. Bring the head to the center. Now lean your head to one side. And what you should feel is a stretch that goes right down, right down the neck, right here. Just let the head and gravity work together. Now from here, I want you to turn your head down. And you should feel that stretch shift in the neck. Now if it hurts, I want you to come out, of course. Just pay attention to your body. Don't overdo it. Look back at me. Head comes back up. Look up towards the ceiling. Look back at me. Bring the head up. Lean the opposite way. Feel that stretch go down the neck. Excuse me. Look down, feel the stretch move, right? Look back at me. Now look up again. Look at me, bring the head back up. Take the head down, look down. Chin goes towards the chest. Again, when stretching the neck, make sure that you are um, paying attention to the neck. Right? If it's too much, come out. Head up. Shoulder rolls back. Keep going. Stop. Shoulder rolls to the front. Good job. Take one arc. <laughs> I want to hit the fan. And circle the arm. Reverse. It needs to be done seated. I'm going to switch arms. I don't go hitting anything. Reverse it. Now take the arms and cross them up and down. Front, front, back, front, and back. Okay, from here, bring the arms down, take one arm out and across. And then you're gonna do like this. You do like this, you stretch the shoulder. Hey, Karen. 
And then let's switch arms. Feel the shoulder stretch. Okay, now we're just gonna kind of move down the arms a little bit here. So what we're gonna do is we take your hand out like this, fingers up, take the other hand, pull the fingers towards you, and feel that stretch in the forearms. Keep pulling and stop. Pull the other one. You should feel a stretch right in the forearm. And one more time, switch. And switch. Okay, now I want you to take fingers and you're just gonna twist to the side like this. Knees are slightly bent. Bring your legs close in if you like. So twist. Twist, twist, twist it. Okay, three, two, loosening up the back, and stop center. All right, we're gonna take those arms up and lean to one side and feel the stretch go right down the side of the body. Of course, the farther over you go, the more you're gonna feel the stretch. Now this arm right here, pretend like someone's pulling it towards them. You'll feel an even deeper stretch. Make sure you're breathing. So when you breathe out, you're probably gonna feel the stretch even more. Come up, bring the other arm up. Get that ab working. And lean back over to the other side. Whew. Now pretend like it's pulling your arm. Feel that stretch right in this area here. Come up. Lean over again the opposite way. Feel the stretch. It should feel good, not painful. Come up. And last time, over the opposite way. Good job. Woo! Arms up. <laughs> Fold forward. Stop halfway, look down. All the way down. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings, possibly the back. Lift between the legs. Slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms come up. Lean forward again. Stop halfway. Excuse me, stop halfway. Lift down. Fold all the way down. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Look between the legs. If your hands can't touch the floor, that's okay. You can bend your knees slightly also. But if you're just dangling down, this is fine. Slowly roll up. We're gonna go down again, arms up. Lean over, fall all the way down. Go to one side, go towards one foot or leg, so your hands can be on your foot, or hands on your shins, and twist. Now come back to the center, slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Breathing in and out. Arms are up, now lean forward, all the way back down. Walk your body over to the opposite side. Feel that stretch.
Come back to the center. Slowly roll up. Head is last. Don't bring the arms up. Great job. Now, you may need to hold on to something for this next stretch. I'm going to stretch the quad right here. And take that foot, bring it up. Now, what you want are the knees to be aligned next to each other. Now, if they can't, that's okay. Now, if you have your knees aligned and you don't feel anything, take this knee, push it back. Make sure you're standing straight up though. Don't lean forward, stand straight up. Switch legs, let me step off the mat so I have some balance here. The stretch, definitely stretch the quad. You should feel that. Switch sides. Hold on to something if you need to. Ooh. You want to work with balance? <laughs> you can do it on your mat. But you may not need to. Make sure you're standing straight up, right? And you're not leaning forward. Stand straight up. Feel the stretch of the quad. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Come on out. Switch legs. Focus and concentrate on what you're doing. There it goes. Head come out. Great job. I know I forgot something. Roll the wrist. We got a few other ones while we're standing. Reverse. Take one arm up, bend it, take the opposite hand, pull that elbow towards you where you feel a stretch, possibly in the hamstring, I mean in the hamstring, in the tricep. Two more exercises and then we're gonna hit the floor. Switch arms. And you can lean to the side if you want, or you can just stay straight up. Out, interlace your fingers. Let me come close to you guys. So take your fingers, interlace them. All right, so the palms are facing you. You're gonna flip them out like that and then hunch your back over and stretch the upper back. Stretch it out. Feel the upper back stretch. Come in, relax, pull up, and stretch again. You can stretch to one side, like right? lean to one side. Lean to the other, feel the upper back stretch and lean forward. All right, great job, everyone. Let's hit the floor or the mat. All right, hip stretches is definitely, those are what I need. <laughs> so, I'm going to kind of give y'all a little motivational talk. Let's see if I can do one today while we're doing this on the floor. So sit with your finger, fingers. Sit with your feet together if you can. Butterfly those feet out. Let gravity just control your uh, knees. You can move your feet closer in or closer out. And what you may see is that one of my knees is higher than the other. This one is definitely higher. Um, I think I told y'all I have arthritis in my hip. So, and it's so funny, let me just tell you, sometimes, um, you know, doctors just say, if, you, if you're if you exercising, you're eating pretty healthy, you're eating healthy, um, you're working out, um, when you do the research on an injury, right, let's say like arthritis or something like that, one of the things they tell you to do is to exercise and stretch. But I always feel like when I do the research, I'm like, but what if you are already exercising and stretching? Like... How much more do I need to do than that, right? So, anyway, what I don't do is let it stop me from doing what I, what I, what I want to do, which is work out. So, sometimes it may slow us down, but that doesn't mean we need to give up. So, here we go. 
I'm going to straighten one leg out. Keep this other leg bent. Right. Now, gravity works a little bit better with my leg like this. I don't feel it as much, but stretching is also really good for arthritis. So arms up, and I'm going to lean forward, going right down towards that leg or knee. Now you may feel a stretch in different areas. For example, I feel a stretch in my lower back. You want your chest to be facing down. I can feel it in my hip, where the knee is bent. I can feel a stretch in my knee. So you may feel a stretch in different areas. I want you to come back up and come out of that one. Now this time, staying up, I want you to lean towards the knee that's bent, right on the diagonal. Try to keep this butt cheek on the floor. Okay, come up. We're gonna switch legs. So straighten out the bent leg. Bend the opposite leg. We're gonna go up. Make sure the chest is not this way, facing that way. Turn it, facing it straight, and go down. So stretching is really good for flexibility, helps to avoid injuries. All right, so you wanna make sure your muscles are nice and stretched out. I can always do more stretching. I really need, I always say that I need to do more stretching. And even on this side, I feel in my lower back. Come up. Now we're gonna turn the body on the upper body, diagonal facing this way, lean forward. Try to keep, make sure you try to keep this other butt cheek right here on the mat or on the floor, wherever you're at, bed. You may find one side is looser than the other, that's fine. Come up. All right, let's put both feet and legs next to each other. Arms up and lean forward. Ooh, now that I feel in my hamstrings. <laughs> Now, if you can't go down far, you don't have to touch your toes. Maybe you just touch your ankles or your shins. If you can touch your toes, you don't feel anything. Bend the elbows, pull the toes back towards you. You will definitely feel something. And go down as far as you can. If you don't feel that, just take your head down to your knees. Mm -hmm. Okay, slowly roll up and out. Okay, we're gonna come up. We're gonna do a runner stretch here. So what I want you to do is take one leg. I don't want the knee to go over the toe, so lean down. Now she kind of really come in alignment with that ankle. You can lean forward. The hip comes down. Okay. So maybe you stay up top, maybe you hold on to something, and you're allowing the hip to go down, stretching the hip out. So either stay up or come down. Come up, lean back, bring that toe up, again, stretching the hamstring. Maybe in a different area you feel it this time, toes up. I'm going to go down one more time. Stretching it out. And lean back again. Toe up. Come up. 
come back, you're not going to go down this time. We're just basically going to switch legs. Switch the legs. Now this is the part of the hip I was talking about that is stretching right here. <clears throat> Lean forward so you can stay up. Here, you can lean forward. Lean back, right? Toe goes up, front toe goes up, lean back. Again, you can feel that in your hamstring possibly, maybe the back, lower back. Good job. Lean forward again. Again, maybe you're up here. Getting that hip. Hip it down. Right? So you feel the stretch here. Now lean back again. Toe up. Bring both, bring the knees next to each other. You should be like in a tabletop. We're gonna look up, breathe in, breathe out, pull the belly towards you. Breathe in, it's really stretching the back. Breathe out, hunch your back like a cat. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more deep breath in, look up. And breathe out, look for the belly button. Neutral spine. And sit back down. I want you to open your legs. And we're gonna lean to one side and stretch. Ooh. Now I want you to turn your body towards your knee. you turn your body again and face me to my maybe your arm stays on the outside like that maybe your arm comes on the inside come up Oof. bring the other arm up you know the opposite way hope y'all enjoying this stretch today mm. it's been a really long week for me so all I really wanted to do was go to sleep <laughs> I really wanted to stay asleep. That's been such a long week that I did not do the midweek workout. That's kind of how long it's been. Turn the body, go down towards the knee. Turn the body again and come back over. A little bit more flexible now. I don't know about y'all, but come up. Both arms come up. Now here comes the big one. Lean forward. <laughs> Go down as far as you can. Now one of the things to help you go down further is you can tighten up your thighs while you go down and then loosen them and then try to push down a little bit more. Whew, that makes my head hurt. All right, stay there. So you shouldn't be feeling any pain, right? You'll feel some stretching, not pain. You feel pain come up some. Come up. 
job. We're gonna bring those legs together. Ooh, trying to figure it out. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna take my feet, put them together. Another butterfly. Stretch, this time just laying down. Relax the hips and let gravity and the knees work together. Don't tense up. So if you have a hip issue and it hurts, then maybe bring the knees up a little or don't do this butterfly on the one side that's hurting. Bring those knees up. Take one leg, straighten it as straight as you can get it, or maybe you keep it bent, it's up to you. I'm gonna straighten mine out. I'm gonna take the opposite leg. Take my hands behind the knee. Pull that knee towards me. And if you have the flexibility, straighten that leg up. Pull it down towards you. Now your knee can be bent, which did allow me to pull my leg closer to me. I can stay straight. I feel a, a stretch in my hip. Bring that leg down, bend it, put the foot on the mat, bring the other leg up. The one we just finished working with, straighten it out, or you can keep it bent. Opposite leg, my hands go behind the knees and I pull it towards me. As I'm breathing, straighten your leg up. I don't have as much great flexibility. You can bend the opposite knee and keep it straight. Keeping it out of time. Bring that leg down and the foot down. Now, we're going to roll here, right? Just stretching out the back. So either you can start by sitting up or you start by laying if you have the flexibility, but sit up and we're just gonna grab our legs if you can and roll back and roll up and roll back and roll up and roll back. Uh oh, I got stuck. <laughs> roll up. All right, I'm gonna sit facing you guys. With my leg crossed. And we're just gonna take a few breaths here. So one thing I want you to remember is anytime, man, it was hard for me to remember this this week. Anytime you're feeling some kind of anxiety or you just, it's, you know, life gets to be a lot <laughs> and we overwhelm ourselves sometimes with work or family or children and anxiety arises or you're upset or whatever you can breathe through it. So if you just take a deep breath in through the nose, allow the belly button to expand, do that now, breathe in. Now breathe out, All right? To help calm the nervous system, to help calm you down. Deep breath in and out. And as you breathe out, you pull the belly button back in towards the spine. One more deep breath in. And slowly breathe out. So you guys practice your breathing techniques because, because you can do that anywhere. You can do that while you're driving. You can do that at work. You can do that sitting on the couch. Practice them. Right? It helps to regulate the body. Right? It helps to calm the nervous system down. It helps to relieve that anxiety you may be feeling. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's stretching session. Um, so you guys make sure that you share this video. You visit my website, www.lbxfitness.com. Head over to YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, LBX Fitness, where you can find more great stretching, yoga, and workouts on the go that are less than 30 minutes. Um, 
for you guys to do, right? You can always take them on vacation. People are starting to get out and move more. I do them on vacation as well. So you can take them wherever you go to do them. Y'all have an awesome day. I will see you in the next workout. Bye, everybody. Keep pushing on.